G'day everybody, um, well I recently, I just saw an article you know, predicting house prices could potentially fall by as much as 40%. So I asked myself you know, what things could cause such a reduction and more importantly, how likely would it be to occur? Now the first thing that could cause such a fall would be a sharp rise in unemployment. Now unemployment is currently sitting at a six year low and most of us aren't really worried about losing our jobs. If a lot of people did lose their jobs, this would obviously impact their ability to pay off loans. Now, how far would it need to go? Now, probably over 10%. Now, however, this hasn't happened since the last recession in the early 1990s. Now, another point that could cause prices to fall would be a big increase in interest rates. Now, any rise in rates will impact any borrower, a borrower's ability to uh, pay back their loan. But speaking and listening to a lot of experts in that field, the likelihood of a dramatic rise in, in rates seems really low. Another problem we are facing now is the difficulty in getting finance. It's a pretty tough time right now, that's for sure. But you know, I think once the Royal Commission with the banks ends at the end of this year, banks will have a lot more certainty and clarity around lending and hopefully things in that sector will ease up a little bit. Now, the global economy is powering and Australia is slowly being caught up in this momentum. Now, while the outlook for growth is looking pretty good, political risk is a real big problem. The one that could potentially impact Australia the most is Trump's trade war with China. Now, depending on how restrictive it becomes, it has the potential to shut down global growth. It is also something Australia has very little control over. Now, if the world heads into recession, demand for our goods and services would be impacted dramatically, and we could also head in the same direction. Now, the most likely scenario for a big drop in house prices would be Australia getting caught up in a global recession, brought about by our economic decision-making by other countries. Now, while we can't say for sure that this won't happen, at this stage, it looks like we are in for a more moderate conditions across Australian property markets over the next two years. In my opinion, a drop of 40% is certainly not on the cards. Anyway, that's it for this week. See you then. Bye.